You don't recognise me at all, do you? Student Drama Festival in Hull? Six years ago? I was 18. I'd written one of those pieces. We were on a panel together by the end of the week. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> I spoke about the marketing that I'd done for my show. You said that the idea that the next generation of theatre makers think theatre should be entertainment, a product to be sold, and that is evidence of a cultural death of a country. You said that theatre should speak in opposition to the dominant cultural and ideological forces of the time. You said it should be insurgent, at best a revolution. And after the panel, you invited me to the pub. <laughs> and of course, you being who you are, and me being 18, and I mean totally fucking all of you at that time, by the way, of course I said yes. And we sat at this incredible pub. You know, it was dark wood, red wine, and you talked to me about how writing should speak the truth. That it's a holy fire. It's like there's these spaces where we can scream the things we can't say in, in everyday life. And when you said that, like, I just felt like, you know, like I made it. Writing. My religion. And you asked to see some of my work at the pub. <sighs> you said that was good. You said I was a real deal. <laughs> you know, like, you say sometimes that writers either make it or they don't, and with just enough work, I could be good. And you offered me a job. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> you said that I can come work with you at your theatre. Cool. <sighs> you said that you would do anything you could to help me kind of get a bit of money to get my voice developed. You said that I could write my first full length play. And that you would do everything you could to help me get there. <laughs> but I didn't take up the offer. Why? Because right after you offered me the job, you tried to kiss me. Mid-March, the King's Head, you ate duck. Oh my god. I ate out of scotch because I want to look grown up, but anything ringing a bell? No. You asked me to come to the hotel with you. You know, you said, oh, I'm married, but you explained that it wasn't a problem because you had some sort of arrangement. And um, you said that <coughs> that that you'd want that you'd want to give me the job but you know like i i wanted to get the job because i was talented not because i was pretty 